what exciting times we live in, where the governor says the horrible, quiet part out loud in print. I've chosen to line item veto certain spending items that will allow tax relief to succeed. Oh goody, we need more tax relief. What are we cutting? Well, let's see. Oh, behavioral health aid. Clearly that's not important. Developmental disability aid. Yeah, you know what? Those people with developmental disabilities, they need to pull themselves up by the bootstraps and stop asking for handouts and hand ups. Medicaid, who doggy? Well, I knew that Medicaid wasn't important because we can't even cover Medicaid postpartum as allowed under federal law up to a year, but we are gonna force those women to give birth. And then we've got a line item veto the Supreme Court juvenile justice and probation community corrections. Because you know what folks, we're not spending enough right now on incarceration. We wanna put more money towards incarceration and less money towards preventative sentencing and interventions. Cool, 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 cool. It is exhausting to be in this room with everyone because you make these ridiculous speeches about what it means for Nebraska and you don't care. You do not care about people. If you cared about people, you would be rising up and saying, yes, Senator DeBoer, we do need to give a tax cut to the middle class and Governor Ricketts, boo hoo on you. We're not gonna let those vetoes stand. Those help real people. But instead we're gonna be greedy and we're gonna pass a massive tax package because that is your Nebraska legislature, unfortunately.